It is 948 and time now to imagine it with the chief scientist Carl Nelson who's cooked up something for us here with a little flamage. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. We're going to combine the physics of acoustics mm -hmm. with the chemistry of combustion. Okay. All right. So what I've got here is it's a big steel pipe. On one end, we're right. pumping in some propane gas. Okay, that's, that's down here. That's yeah. the valve down there. On the top, a whole bunch of little holes. You can see some tiny little flames, almost barely visible here right now. Um, down here, I've sealed the pipe with a balloon, and I've got a speaker. Okay. So the <laughs> cool thing we can do is we can send sound waves from the speaker down the pipe. They'll hit the other end. They'll bounce back. When those two waves cross one another, they create variations in the pressure inside the tube. They okay. set up what's called the standing wave. Now, you can't see that. You can't see the sound wave inside the tube, but that's where the flames come into play. Okay, mm -hmm. so if we turn the speaker on, and I'll send in some, some sound waves in there, you can see at some points the flames get higher and lower, right? So if we had a meter stick, we could actually measure between the peaks and the valleys and calculate what the wavelength of that sound is. Yeah, it looks just like an audio booth. How about that? It's a little bit like an audio booth, exactly. And so the cool thing here is that's just a, a, a simple sine wave. If things get more complex, and the physics gets more complex if you send in something like some music. So let me pull up a song here. And Let's we'll, hope it's not copyrighted. Well, we'll see. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm, that's, that's, I know this song. <laughs> I'm just going to talk over it, though. I'm not going to so, acknowledge the song. <laughs> but, but, the, but the neat thing, neat thing going on here is that you can see that at times the flames right. get really high. If the volume gets too loud, the uh, all the flames will get super high. Right. When they're singing, you can actually see some of the some of the standing waves that are set up inside them. <laughs> And of course, that's that's the cool part when they get the really really high like that. banging part, right? Exactly. So it's a cool physics demonstration that uh, people have used for years to illustrate standing waves. I don't want to leave without you though, Tony. Oh, perhaps. Oh, there's a microphone. There's too. a microphone for sure. you. So anything? Yeah, go ahead and crank check, that check. flame up I'm a little bit. Turn it up here. We're crank it up. Is it? Does it oh, there. Hey, there we go. I am the great and powerful Geftaz. <laughs> So try, try to sing, try to sing, make some noises in there. All right, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> hi there, everybody. I'm uh, I'm with uh, the world's uh, most insane <laughs> scientist, <laughs> where everything must flame. Excellent. All right. So and, you know, even like I can't sing for sure, but. <laughs> Nice. So you can get, you get an idea. <laughs> Neat way to visualize sound waves that you can't normally see by using flames inside a steel pipe. Certainly probably want to say don't try this at home. Right. Do not. Do not try that at home. But thanks very much, Carl Nelson. If you want to see Carl in all of his glory, you can check him out at the Imagination Station. Pay no attention to the Carl behind the curtain <laughs> Tuesdays through Saturday and Sunday from noon to 5. Thanks again, Carl, for bringing down your, uh, your giant, giant tricks here. Exciting right. times. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now we're uh, going to turn it over to Dave in sports.